let's see how we can count total cells between two dates. For this task, we can use COUNTIFS function. I have some data here with customer ID complaint number and complaint date. And I want to see total complaints registered between two dates or I would say in a specific time duration. So here I have start date and end date. So I want to count total complaints between these two dates. So let's see how we can use COUNTIFS function for this task. So let me write the formula equal to COUNTIFS start brackets criteria range 1. So I'll select dates. Dates are in column D. So I'm selecting D2 to D18 and comma then I will specify greater than or equal to the date that I am considering is 7th month 25 and 2018 this is the starting date then comma again I will select same range then comma then inverted comma and date is 31st July for that I will write less than or equal to 7 31 2018 inverted comma and close the bracket so what I am doing here is I am using COUNTIFS function then giving start end and end date between start date and end date all these cells will be counted let me press enter so we can see that total number of cells in the selected range that are falling in this criteria are 9 so let me highlight what are those 9 cells These are the nine cells that this formula is considering. There is another way where we can refer directly these two cells where we have a start date and end date in the same count if formula. So let's see how we can do that. Equal to count ifs. Start brackets. Range I will select D2 to D18, comma. Then within inverted comma I will give condition greater than or equal to, and then I will give one more comma. So I am covering this condition of operator equal to greater than or equal to within commas. And then I will use AND sign or ampersand and I will refer to start date. Then comma. One more time I will select the same range. And then comma. Within inverted comma less than or equal to. And then sign of and or m percent and i will refer to end date then i will close the bracket press enter and here what we have done is we have used countifs function by referring to cells where we have a start date and end date so these are two easy ways which we can use to count cells between two ranges. Let me highlight this formula as well so that we can note down.
thanks for watching my tutorial if you like it please subscribe to my channel for more learning tutorials thank you